Hi everyone, welcome to another Board of Engineering videos. Today I'm going to um, talk about replacing uh, screens for laptops, I mean, laptops in general. So I've got an Apple uh, product here and I've got a like, standard uh, gaming uh, laptop. Now, uh, screens are the two types of screens generally uh, that you can replace. Um, you need to access them. One type that you need to access it from the uh, back. That means you gotta open all these screws and then open the frame um, and then possibly taking the uh, motherboard and all the circuitry out to access the hinges for for the for the monitor. Now the thing is, there is no um, video that would cover um, all the laptops and how to replace and how to access it. And when you take it to the technician, they not uh, um, basically uh, masters, as in masters, they know every laptop. What they do for every laptop, if they special or authorized uh, service centers, they have a service manuals. So when you take your, for example, uh, Apple to your Apple store they have a service manual and in the service manual uh, there is a step-by-step -step, uh, that for example um, there's a question says the screen doesn't work and that's for the expert not for you so when they look at it they don't know even how to troubleshoot they go through those steps that are in the service manuals now what I would do suggest is for your laptop go and search online and Google try to find a service manual. It's not that difficult. For example, in this case, um, we've got this gaming laptop, Horizon, um, um, and I found a service manual for that. And in this case, uh, this as you can see, this is about three and a half kilos. It's a big, heavy laptop. It's about three, four centimeters the thickness here. To access the screen or open the uh, LED screen here to re replace it, I don't need to um, open the screws on the back to access the hinge. What I need to do simply is to access it through the top here. And now, so what I did, I first I uh, searched for service manual and uh, and I found it luckily uh, because if you start opening the screws trying to access and try to open that section basically it's very difficult and you're probably gonna either damage your laptop or um, spend hours or days on it to get to that so save a lot of time so I printed uh, the page that's um, specific for uh, my screen um, probably put a link below uh, this is the model number Horizon P151 EM1 and it's a full HD screen 15.6 inch and now let's zoom in and look at it closer so in my case looking at the service manual it tells me there are screws on top on here so I can basically um, basically open these two, the two plastics holding these screens. Now looking at here, you can't see any screws and I wouldn't uh, guess that there are any screws but they're all like um, plastic stoppers, uh, plastics, uh, um, I don't know what you call them, stoppers or um, shock absorbers. If you peel those, um, I don't have all my equipment here so I'm just going to use uh, these guitar picks. So you just put it underneath these stoppers and there are screws uh, uh, underneath these shock absorbers um, here. Then here they have, they have a bit of double sided tape behind them. So first I remove these. So as I said, for every laptop 
after you find your service manual do a bit of search you need to then start looking for the screens you want and purchasing the right one is very important and there's thousands of models and there is a website I think it's an American website you put um, you type your uh, laptop model number and it uh, tells you there is a screen you can buy it and they're smart they don't tell you their part number for the for that screen or whatever part they just tell you this screen uh, suits your laptop now the price that they offer might not be the best on the market so you need to look for the part number so what I do first I'm gonna open open this take the faulty out uh, faulty uh, screens out and then look for the part number and then search online now before that I'll just show you how the screen looks like uh, you might not see as you can see it's uh, no good this is a LED matte screen just turn it off so first thing you do take the battery out that's just a safety thing you don't want to damage any electronics open it up now in my case there are uh, flips um, these are you can buy them probably for five bucks but the quality is pretty crap um, it won't last long but it does the job it has so many odd uh, tips and heads okay be careful with the screws sometimes the different screw size for different parts so just put it in here uh, you need a uh, double sided tape definitely for this uh, installation later on because there's some stuff you need to put back together okay. put this apple screen out I'll do a tear down of this later on but this <laughs> someone's getting worried behind the scene so that's not done yet. Okay. Four screws, and now they're all the same size. That's good. I'm not sure this one. Looking at the schematic, in the schematic usually it tells you every part which part usually which tells you which part you need to take first and also the part numbers which is very good um, but these part numbers sometimes don't correspond to what you have here so you have to take this out now there are these plier tools you can buy for mobile mobile repairs or other electronics but again i'm going to use my guitar picks so now the screws are out and just you know, with um, here between the edges and just clicks that's normal and you just need to be careful there with every laptop obviously is different there might be uh, wires or connectors around here so as you go with this ply you just look and make sure you don't cut anything mm -hmm. I'm kind of lucky this one is an easy one I had another Dell laptop um, was it Dell or sorry HP that one it was a pain to get to the screen I had to open everything and then I could access the screws of the hinge and you open the hinge and then you can access the um, screen so now you don't need to 
be that much careful because the screen is already broken. So as you can see, this is the LED screen. Usually there are different modules. In every laptop these days, the antenna is in your screen uh, and your obviously the uh, webcam. Um, okay, so to access the screen again, I'm going to go back to my schematic. So it says you open, there are four screws there. Take this out now. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws there. Good. Okay, let's open these. There are screws here. Um, I open those. And what I recommend, like when you start opening uh, any equipment, especially when it gets complicated, screw sizes are different and in the uh, uh, service manual usually it tells you the size of a screw on each point now if you don't have that what i would suggest is make a small boxes and on the, each box or on each container write down where you took it out which which uh, where did you take the screw out and you can categorize, otherwise if you use the wrong screw, you screw it. Yes. So, uh, the, the hinges here, is, this is it's a very sturdy laptop, it's a massive one. The hinges are very tough, I mean it's a solid metal, goes through it all the way. Now, you see the screen. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the shielding here, this aluminium reflector, and this is the screen. The whole thing will must be replaced. Now, there are screws on sides as well. Now we have access to the side, we open these screws. Alright, more screws here. So, yeah, once I tried, uh, was, I mean, I tried, I did it. I replaced a motherboard on my previous laptop and that was a, a massive job. So for that you need to be organized and do it uh, step by step. Um, let's take this out. All right. Another word of advice, um, be careful of electrostatic. That means the electricity in your body. Sometimes it can reach two, three thousand volts. So if you touch the parts that are sensitive, you're basically going to fry that section. That's one bit. So you need to either discharge yourself or use one of these uh, wristbands to discharge yourself. Or um, um, try to not touch it. Also, when you... This is the, con uh, the connectors here. Um, it's very, very important with this sort of uh, sensitive electronics. Uh, never touch the connectors on either sides because it doesn't matter how clean is your hand the smallest um, sweat or uh, oil from your hand on those connectors would cause issues now you can see there is kind of a double sided tape used for these uh, here. So just pulled it out. Okay, now time. That's it. This was very, very easy to to remove. But some laptops are extremely hard. Uh, now, so what I need to do? Look at the back of that, and it has the part number, everything. So I will search for that, purchase it, and wait for it to arrive for replacement. Alright, we just received the um, 
screen that I ordered. This is the <coughs> cracked one. And then I purchased this from Estonia. Um, and let's open it. Let it for the DHL. It says it's LG, the brand, LG display, Korean, and uh, that's what I had, and this is what I received. So first thing I can see is um, the one that I received, the brand new one. It doesn't have the shielding as the original one does. So um, I probably need to remove the shielding from this and put it on here. Um, and if, if not, just install it as it is, and hopefully it works. It looks, uh, the, the connectors and everything looks exactly the same. Uh, let's see if it works. Now, um, removing these uh, uh, aluminum foil from the whole the screen, and these are basically the shieldings, and put a bit of uh, glue on them and try to put them um, install them on the new one which you can come with it maybe it's not needed on the new uh, version um, but if you have it why not install it in. Make sure uh, these contacts are clean. You can um, clean them with uh, some sort of alcohol based uh, solvent. Uh, it's facing up the contacts, the golden uh, part of it. So make sure it is inserted and it has a a double sided tape behind it, so you just, just get that there. Now, alright, I finished the ins installation of uh, this screen as you can see, uh, it works perfectly. And just show you the edge, get a forecast. Um, looks good. Uh, it works perfectly but um, one thing was the seller that I bought the uh, screen from um, sent a glossy one I originally had the matte which is not a problem but um, it's okay so it's all good it was an easy fix I hope uh, you got, it can, this video can help you guys as well uh, if you have any question or comments make sure you write it down Thanks.